we're back with some more Max Payne. I'm kind of scared, chat. Last time we left off, we came into this dream sequence. <clears throat> Kinda of scared, chat. I didn't know this game was a horror game. Oh shit, I'm like, I'm like, Martian. Martian? No, a Martian. You know, like the astronauts. You guys know the astronauts, right? Right. We're going right. Is that my wife? You see my wife crying? Screaming? Make it cream, make it scream. I'm a puddle, make a scene. You guys like that song? Please say no. If you say yes, I'm banning you. I don't cook. I don't. Yo, you guys remember um, <clears throat> Bling Bling Boy? Chad, you guys remember Bling Bling Boy? That was the guy, bro. Bling Bling Boy from um, that one show. I'm not gonna say the show's name because I don't I don't like the the name of the character. So sort of J. You guys can guess. Um. No, yeah, it's a uh, Johnny Test. Yeah. Our name, but W show, W fucking show. Chat, what are your guys' favorite shows? I think we could actually end up doing a cartoon tier list pretty soon. Like a Disney Channel cartoon tier list. <clears throat> but yeah, this is going to be more of a chill. This is going to be more of a chill playthrough. I know this mission is kind of confusing too. There may not be a lot of shooting in this one. Depending on how long this fucking takes. It's like a maze. Let me know the what are your guys' favorite cartoons? What are your guys' favorite shows? I think probably the greatest show of all time is The Sopranos. You guys know that. That that that's my favorite show ever. But I think Drake and Josh is like top three as well. Are we here? I keep going in the same place. Alright, chat. I'm getting kind of confused now. Oh, he's rolling. <laughs> Chad, you know, I feel like Max Payne's a good game to play in the winter. Just the vibe and the aesthetic of like this Christmas New York shooting people it's cold it's i don't know it's just like a fire game to play during the winter same with like arkham origins if you guys ever seen that game batman arkham origins because that takes place during christmas too um there's one more game I'm, i i can't think of right now even like call of duty like call of duty almost has this like fun nostalgia when you play during the you know like you know you you get black ops 2 for christmas and you play it Chat, have you ever, have you guys ever beat a game? Have you guys ever, like, beat a game in, like, one night? Because the only game that I could recall that I've ever beat in one sitting is Modern Warfare 3. I rented it, actually, funny enough. I think it was, I think I had rented it from Redbox or one of those. And I just played it all night and I beat it. I stood up all night. I did a complete all-nighter, and I just beat this shit. It was good. Modern Warfare 3 is pretty good. I mean, it's not as good as MW2, in my opinion. Because I think MW2 just has a better villain and better story. I think Call of Duty Ghost is pretty underrated as well. Very underrated. That one doesn't get a lot of love for some reason. BL3 is pretty good. Um, 
What else? Max Payne. They should make a Max Payne 4. I mean, they could have made a Max Payne 4. They're clearly putting 100% of their energy into GTA 6, and that's cool. But in the meantime, you could have made Max Payne 4. You could have made Bully 2. You could have made... They did make Red Dead 2, so you got to give them credit for that. But you could have made another Midnight Club <laughs> racing game. You could have made... I think we're getting close, chat. You could have made another Manhunt. Why are we not getting Manhunt 3? There's no way that game was that violent, bro. It was banned in all these countries. I've played Manhunt, bro. It's really not that bad. Like, even if I'm playing, let's say I'm playing like a censored version, it's, it's just not that bad. These games are banned in countries because of like, what? He gets hit in the head with a bat or something. It's like a super ugly pixelated game. I love Manhunt. I think it's an incredible game. One of Rockstar's best games ever. But it's not the prettiest game. It's not the... The graphics are not that clear. You know what I mean? We're going to play Manhunt too. Probably in October, I think. I want to play like... It's not a horror game, but it's kind of got that spooky vibe. Alright. We went right... Right. Left. We went in circles like six times. Right, right, left. 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 Right. Right. Left. I'm just guessing at this point, chat. They have to make this this hard. Pause. Chat, what do you guys think about Saints Row? Volition is shutting down. The guys who made Saints Row. I gotta say, I don't have that much sympathy. And the reason I say that is because the last game they made was dog shit. The most recent Saints Row was dog shit. So, and I never played it, but I know it was dog shit. I'm never gonna waste my time playing it. Don't get me wrong. My childhood was filled with Saints Row 3, Saints Row 2. You know, all those kinds of games. Saints Row 4. I even liked that game at the time. Obviously, I was much younger. But even playing it recently, I think it's alright. We might play that on stream. It's very ambitious. But Volition shutting down is pretty sad. Um, fuck. We're going in circles, bro. That's why I'm talking so much, because I can, I can, I'm not going to sit here in silence while we keep going in circles. But yeah, Volition shut down. That's sad, dude. They should have just made the Saints Row we all wanted. I don't know what they were thinking. Now the company doesn't exist. Now there's people unemployed. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like, do I feel bad? Yes, but when you make a game like that, finally, Jesus Christ. Quick save, quick save. Do I feel... Look at the loafers. Is that me? Wait, is that supposed to be like me? Or is that me like in the real world? Max Payne family captured. I thought it would last forever till death do us part. <clears throat> I don't love this mission chat. <laughs> this might be the whole episode, just me doing this mission. Why not? Fuck it. You ever watch like a TV show and it has a filler episode? This is kind of like the filler episode. This might be the filler episode. Sorry. Depending on how long it takes, of course. If I get this done in like 10 minutes, you know what it would It takes me an hour then. I ain't gonna be here for two hours doing one mission. It's pretty late where I am. Yes. Oh, I hate I really hate this one actually, chat. Really. But yeah, so Volition shut down. It's, it's sad. It is sad. 
I, like I'd be lying if I said, you know, I don't have sympathy or I don't care. But it, at the end of the day, the pictures are filled with good old times. What were they thinking with that new Saints Row? I just. Now, GTA 6, I think GTA 6, I've heard the rumors it's going to be $150. Hopefully by then, hopefully by the time the game comes out, I could just, you know, I, mean, I could just burn money. Like, that's how, hopefully I make good money by, by then. Because that is probably one game I would spend over 60 bucks on if they asked me to. Like, I'd never spend that much on a Call of Duty or a 2K, but GTA 6? The thing is, you know that they're gonna go all out. You know that it's gonna have a crazy story mode, a crazy online, crazy features. That's gonna be one of those games that, like, people are not gonna get sleep. You know what I mean? Like that? Bro. Story time, I guess. When GTA 6, no, when GTA 5 first came out, I... I was sick. So I was sick when I got it, right? Well, wow, great timing. So I couldn't go to school. But I wasn't too sick to play GTA V. <laughs> so, so I'm sick in my living room with the Xbox. Oh my god. That game... I haven't felt... There's only two games... In recent years that I felt this way about. GTA V and Red Dead Redemption 2. Where it's like you, 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 you almost you think about the game. You, you're going to sleep. Like I can't wait to wake up tomorrow and play this game. I haven't felt that in years, chat. And I miss that feeling with gaming. I miss it so bad. That's such a good feeling. You guys know the exact feeling I'm talking about. You know, you play a game and it's. It's so good that you just, you're up thinking about it. I used to kind of get that with Fortnite, mainly because I was like, I can't wait to play with my friends. Pause. Maybe Call of Duty, but not, it's not the same. You know, Red Dead, it's like, you don't even want to get off the game. It's like, it's, it is kind of addicting, I can't lie. That's, that's when people say, because I'm not addicted to video games. I could quit playing video games forever. Not forever, but I could quit for... I don't play video games every... I only play video games because I stream video games. I don't play... I don't... I don't... Let me tell you guys something. I don't play games off stream at all. Like, never. Ever. It's actually the reason why I, I started streaming. Because I'm like... I'm playing... You know, I feel like I'm wasting time just sitting playing this game. At least let me be on camera and play it. And maybe make some sort of money from it. And get my name out there a little bit you know we got we hit three followers today which is a really big milestone we hit three followers on kick.com slash xx guts so that's a really cool milestone i'm really happy with you know i've been working hard you know i have i've been uploading two youtube videos a day I've been trying to stream pretty much every day. Streaming is a little harder than uploading because obviously I'm taking videos from the streams. But yeah, I don't know guys. You guys, uh, my nose is so itchy today. Let me know, what's your favorite Rockstar game that's not named GTA? I'd probably say... Probably Max Payne, not Bully. It's got to be Bully, right? I think not doing Bully 2 is the biggest missed opportunity Rockstar's ever made. Ever. I think that's a huge missed opportunity. That game would be viral right now. Bro, in this generation... Bro, you're giving this generation of kids a game where you're saying, Here, here's a game where you can... Imagine with an online, right? Here's a game where you can go around, fight people in school. You could beat up your teachers. You could 
you could beat a bully, you could, there's nerds, there's all these cool, wacky characters. You're giving, you can go to class, like, bro, you know how many fucking kids would love that game right now? That game would go viral, bro. I'm telling you. That'd be, that'd be one of those games that people just, again, especially with an online, that game would be, Bully 1 is incredible in my opinion, I think it's, it's my favorite game of all time. Personally, just because of nostalgia, though it's not. It's not because I think it's the best game ever. And you know, a game. I have a hot take chat. You know, a game that I don't think is all that amazing. Witcher Three. I can't get into a chat. I can't get into the Witcher Three. I don't know what it is. I just can't get into The Witcher 3. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. I kind of got into it the most recent time I played it, but, like, then it gets to the point where it's just too difficult. The game doesn't tell you, like, what to do with anything. So it's like, I'm trying to kill this monster, but I don't know what to do, and I'm Googling it. And when you Google it, it's like, yeah, if you use this spell with this potion, it's like, what potion? How do I get this potion? It's just, it's too much. It's too overwhelming. I don't have time to play games like it's real life. You know what I mean? A game like Max Payne, I could just pick up. I mean, obviously, this is a... This mission is a bit much, but... Fuck. I should probably quick save. Yeah. I should quick save once I'm, like, halfway. A game like Max Payne, other than this mission, is usually... A pick up and play kind of game and I, those are my kind of games I find as I've gotten older I just kind of want to pick up and play to be honest obviously if it's a stream game it's different but even then I was playing a game earlier on stream where there was a lot of dialogue I was skipping the dialogue I was you know I know that's not that doesn't make for the best um, the best gameplay because people might want to read the dialogue but, bro, I, if I want to watch a movie, I'll watch a movie. I'm not trying to play a game, and then it's like, here's a two-hour cutscene. Fuck that, bro. Sorry. But, yeah, they should make a Manhunt 3, Max Payne 4. I wonder what a Max Payne 4 would look like, obviously. I don't... I love the 8-bit look of Max Payne. I love, like, this look. The old classic style gaming look. Like, I wouldn't want a Max Payne 4 and it looks super modern and big graphics and crazy game. I just kind of want, like, a... I kind of want, like, shitty graphics Max Payne. You know what I mean? That's kind of my... I don't... But chat, I, of any... Of anything in gaming, I think graphics is the least important thing, bar none. I genuinely think that's the most unimportant thing. Like, I've never played a game as... Like, obviously, if the graphics are good, I'm going to admire the graphics. But, Chad, I've never been like, oh, the graphics are shit. I don't want to play this. Ever. I've never done that. Ever. I don't even like good graphics, to be honest. I'd rather play a game like this where it's, like, shitty graphics but incredible gameplay, incredible story. <laughs> Incredible story. You know what I mean? Like a Manhunt, Max Payne. These are games I like. Bully, Bully's graphics are shit in modern standards, but it's still a better game than 90% of games nowadays. I don't care about graphics. I've never have. I never have. When I was younger, I used to be kind of impressed by them, but... But, you know, everyone is, right? It's the same when you watch, like, a Marvel film, and it's like, oh, look at the, the big explosions and everything. And then you get older, and you're like, eh, I'd rather watch Godfather. You know what I mean? Man, this might be the most rambling I've ever done. I'm yapping, chat. 
I'm just I'm just talking, you know, because this is a pretty uh, this is the worst mission in the game, so I kind of have to talk. Save. I'm just gonna quick save constantly. Almost slow. Quick save again. See, good thing I quick save. But yeah, let me know. Would, would you rather Max Payne 4 or Manhunt 3? I'd rather Manhunt 3, I think. Because Max Payne 4, it's like. I don't know, what, what could they do? You know, chat, why have we never had, like, a cop game? I know it's, like, kind of random, but why have we never had, like, a cop game? I, I feel like that's... I feel like that's the easiest game to ever make. A game where you're just a police officer arresting people. Maybe you could even do cops and robbers in one game. Is that, I don't know, is that like something people don't want to see, I guess? I'd play it. I'd play it. I remember Battlefield, I want to say Battlefield Hardline, I think it's called. That shit had like a, uh, the beginning of the game was like you played as a cop. And that like first five to ten minutes of the game is incredible. You're like... You're driving around. You're breaking in. You're breaking in. You know, you're chasing a criminal. It's cool. It's a cool. It's a cool opening mission. You know, nowadays it's like I don't know. I'm surprised they've not even thought of making a game like that. I don't know what controversies would come from it. I guess maybe when the whole defund the police thing. I'm not going to get into that. But maybe then they wouldn't have wanted to make a game like that. But now it's like, I don't know. In my opinion, that's cooled down a lot. So whatever, dude. You know, it's a game I would want to see personally. I think Rockstar, I mean, can we say Rockstar is the greatest video game developers of all time? GTA 5, Red Dead 2, Red Dead 1, GTA 4, I mean, San Andreas, Vice City, like, like the list goes on and on. Bully, Midnight Club, Max Payne, Manhunt, like, bro, it's, it's insane. Their catalog is like, is, is like, Jordan. Like my Jordan, Kobe, LeBron. It's like the greats of the greats. It's a, it's a, it's genuinely like their catalog for games is insane. You could say I'm glazing. You're damn right I am. Rockstar is the only games that immerse me. There's no other game. Do you get immersed by playing a Ubisoft game? Do you get immersed by playing an EA game? Do you get immersed by playing a Square Enix game? I don't. I can't tell if I already went this way. Oh, I didn't. No, no, please, God, no. Thank God. I was gonna, I was gonna restart. I was like, oh, we're going in circles. This game tricks me. Wait. Huh? Wait, I'm so confused now. We go this way. Yeah, go this way. Thank God. Bro, I genuinely... I think I had beaten it like five minutes ago. But I had restarted because I'm like, oh, we're going in circles. Alright, here we go. We're getting some action. 24 minutes. 24 minutes later. I think we're about to get into some action. Lay on the table. <laughs> no, please, Max. Why? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Jesus. Murder! 
Holy shit, my shoulders are fucked. You know, I could go to the gym, I could do sparring, I could jump off a building, but nothing beats up my body more than hunching over while streaming. I gotta get some, I gotta get a better setup, chat, I know. I love the comic style chat. They had dragged me back to the basement of Lupino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair. It kind of, it kind of reminds me of Watchmen. I'm trying to think, I was playing a game. Was it this game? There was another game I was playing All that has like the comics too. Bat. Sticky with my own blood. I got a bloody baseball bat. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide and seek with them. Oh, great. The missions don't really get any easier. Because even this mission is pretty difficult. I'm trying to sneak around. Before you ask chat, yes, I have played this before. You guys know that though. Wait, did he shoot his own guy? Did you see that? Max Payne does remind me of the Punisher, which is another game we are gonna play on stream. Just not yet because it's so similar to this game. Damn, I should've They're so similar, I don't want to play them so close together. Hey, yeah. oh. Damn. I'm quick saving, I don't care. Some ammo, nice, nice. There we go. That's what we need. All right, and I just get smoke. Look, Chad, you guys gonna say, "Oh, why do you quick save every five seconds?" Cause I don't want to be here all day. that guy wearing? Is he wearing a fucking trench coat? Of course. Typical. W voice track, by the way. I got my shit back. 
Tyler, do you, do you guys get voice cracks? Let me know. I get voice cracks like really bad. Like, I, I haven't stopped getting voice cracks since high school. It's weird, like, my voice has gotten deeper, but it just, every, every day, I get a voice crack, once or twice. It's one of the reasons why I actually don't, like, like to talk to people. It used to really make me insecure. Like, shit, if I say a sentence, then my voice is gonna crack in the middle of the sentence. I kind of own it. Bro, Chad, let me give you advice. If your voice ever cracks in front of a girl, just own it. Just own it. Make fun of yourself. There's nothing else you could ever do. Because it just happened to me recently. I'm out with a girl. I'm talking, whatever. My voice cracks. And I'm like, oh my god, no way my voice just cracked. I'm so embarrassed. Like, make it into a joke. Then then she doesn't really care. Comic strip is this? She is like PG thirteen. There were enough corpses to put a mass murderer to shame. It's got like, it's like the shortest story I've ever read. Chat, you remember that show Zeke and Luther? That show was gas, chat. You guys can admit it. Dumb boys was skating, man. I'll tell you, that show was incredible. All timer show, all timer, easily. Finally, Jesus. I thought that would. I thought that opening section would take longer. It only took about twenty minutes. <laughs> I mean. I mean When I had initially done it, it took me way longer. And I wasn't even fully focused during this time. Because I'm just talking about fucking Zeke and Luther and fucking Rockstar Games and shit. Another game chat, you guys saw Payday 3? It's kind of exciting. Looks kind of exciting. I mean, I like Payday too. You know, Payday 2 is pretty good. It's a good multiplayer game. You know, Chad, the problem with modern games is that there's too many... Everyone wants to have a multiplayer game. Like, Texas Chainsaw could have easily been a single player. If, if Texas Chainsaw was single player, I'd be playing it right now. But no, it has to be multiplayer because that's the wave nowadays. The problem with multiplayer is you're relying too much on people to be playing your game constantly. You know what I mean? If it's single player, there's a lot more longevity in my opinion. How do you make a horror game about Texas Chainsaw and not consider having a story mode in it? It's baffling to me. Am I the only one that's like going crazy? Like, you, you've made a Texas Chainsaw game, but you didn't put a story mode in it. Are you serious? Like, what sense does that make in anyone's mind? I get that it's a multiplayer mainly, it's mainly a multiplayer game. I don't care, bro. Have us some sort of single player, even if it's like five hours, I don't care. Something. Something. You could even been lazy with this the 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 cutscenes and then comic strips like this game does. And I don't think it's lazy, but you know what I mean. They don't gotta try as hard.
It's just crazy. I love the aesthetic of this game, though. Look, even with the shitty graphics, it, like, I still feel like it's a world that I'm kind of immersed in. It's weird. Oh, my shoulders. Yeah, chat, we're gonna end soon. Literally because I'm in pain, chat. It's... Uh, 10 to 20 more minutes, and then we're gonna get out of here. From bad to worse. Trust me, I'd be... Bro, if I physically could and mentally could, I'd be live 24 hours every day. I would never end. I'd be like, I don't know how Fuzzy did it, bro. I have no energy right now. The cops who had stayed behind were dead. I shouldn't have no energy. Frankie, his boys, and I had the place all for ourselves. Chad, what do you guys think, though? Just forget about it. Just forget about it. One second. Hey, just forget about it. Crazy what you should have heard. She was a real scream when the boys caught her trying to cap the time. Oh, that's freaking bad. The trio? That's even worse than what Frankie's doing to that poor bastard downstairs. She's gonna take a long time to die. The mobster muscle on the phone was talking about Mona. When Janello's trio were nothing. Mona Sachs. Isn't she in the second game? Spoiler alert, I guess. Everybody knows that. Who the hell is this guy? Also, they came back to the crime scene. Wait, can I hide? Chat, what kind of horror game do you guys want them to make? I, I want to... Nightmare on Elm Street, Oregon. But again, if it's just going to be online, do I really want it? I just feel like it's lazy, bro. You could be doing, like, so many good stories with these characters. Unless they're, like, legally not allowed to. That's the only thing I can think of. Or like, yeah, you can, you can make an online game, but you can't make a, a different story or something. I don't know. Oh, they think I'm dead? Reliable sources. That meant somebody thought the mafia had me. Didn't want the cops snooping around anymore. The body would be delivered to them barely recognizable. The case closed. Don Punginello had the power to be that reliable source, which was no news. But his news was old news. Framing me hadn't been enough. Don Punginello had put a hit on me. He wanted me dead. It had been important enough for him to give written instructions to Frankie about it. Max Payne, Caliucci, please like marry me. For the Thank you. Caused. Frankie, I know I can trust you to give this matter the dedication it needs. Hey, was I muted? Anyways, um. So, what was I saying? I've been saying a lot this stream. This is the most I've ever talked, like in a video, probably. Just letting my thoughts fly. I've never really done that, but... Hey, uh... Oh, his cock was ale. It's really time. Church, you know what? Oh my god, I gotta go from the beginning, bro. This is why I save every five seconds. Just forget about Jesus, bro. I literally had just fucking done that whole thing. I did kill them quicker, though. You guys saw that, right? Damn. But 
chat, let me know what's your guys' favorite games ever. A lot of people would probably say The Witcher. Again, it's... I think Red Dead might be the best game ever, but it's not my most favorite game, if that makes sense. Though the story... The most underrated game? I'd say Crackdown. Like, the first one. That game's actually kind of underrated. Crackdown. I used to like, tell my parents, I can't even play this game called Crackdown. And they... I guess they thought it was crazy. They thought about the drug crack. Man, oh, you're not playing that game, Crackdown. Good game, it's a good game. I gotta get him forever. He's in the corner, like, like, like Adam Twenty Two. That not kill him. Jesus Christ. Idiot Max. I want to kill him with a grenade. by two fucking grenades. Gee, what is this guy? The Incredible Hulk? Thank you, thank you. You've been a lovely I don't play with girls anyways, they got the cooties. I spotted the tail as soon as I left the hotel. The big black Mercedes. You guys remember the cooties? I'd seen the car before. He stole a vehicle? Alright, Max, when you're doing a little much, you're a cop, aren't you? Oh, we're about to hit four hours on this stream. That's actually kind of crazy. I was not expecting to hit four hours on this stream. When I when I sparked up today, I was not thinking oh, I'm gonna do a four-hour stream tonight. Yellow, 
you need heavy duty. There's a long cut. I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag. Maybe pop two in the trade of time's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Let's get this show on the road. Vladimir was one of those old time bad guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. None of us was a saint. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. On a night like this, you couldn't help but think of the dark army of dead men sleeping with the fishes, cement shoes in line. No minotaur lurked in this labyrinth, but somewhere out there, on the clanking deck of his cargo freighter, the skipper of the Kalon was waiting, like the ferryman of the river Styx. Oh my, my headphones disconnected, what the fuck? One second, shit. Alright. So I think we're gonna end it there. W game. I gotta get some sleep. I gotta make some videos. Pretty good. Uh, that was a, that was that was one of my favorite parts. Probably because I talked a lot. That was one of my favorite episodes, though. I'm gonna end stream as well. How many hours we, we did four? So I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. No, seriously, man. Thank you for your support. Three followers on kick, man. I'm actually really happy. It feels good. Like I know it's people say, oh, three followers. People take people take um people take things for granted. There's people with thirty followers or three thousand or three hundred. People take for granted, like that's a lot of followers th three followers for me someone who only had one follower zero followers so now I have three I've been putting in the work so hopefully we could turn that into 30 300 3000 3 million anything's possible chat I promise you I'll see you guys love you guys